just four Winston Cup race here this afternoon. Here comes the white flag. One more lap to go for Allen. Greenfield, Wisconsin. Driver. First win came in his 85th start at Phoenix. He was the 1986 Winston Cup Rookie of the Year. He's in turn number three. Now in turn number four. The Ford win streak continues. Bill Elliott's streak is broken. Alan Kowicki wins the Food City 500. Rusty Wallace, not only is he going to win this race, he's going to pick up $60,800 bonus money. This will be the third time he's won that Unical bonus. Second place will continue to watch for you as Earnhardt remains ahead of Kyle Petty. Here is Rusty Wallace in the third turn, now the fourth turn, and the Food City 500 win is his. Rusty Wallace, Earnhardt second, followed by Kyle Petty. Same thing. <laughs> the white flag. He's got a half mile to go to towards another victory and moves into the points lead for 1994. Dale Earnhardt wins his 24th short track race in his career. There is the checkered flag and he's done it. Jeff Gordon, you know that his tires are in white flag for Gordon. One more lap for Jeff. But anything can happen. The 12 cars up in front of him, I think he has a flat tire. Jeff off the fourth corner. Is he going to win it? Yes, he will. Jeff Gordon takes the checkered flag and wins his first career short track. And look at Daryl Waltrip lead Bobby Hamilton down and Waltrip by a car length. Daryl Waltrip's heavy damage to the back of the Western Auto Chevrolet. Break for Dale Derry to beat, beat Jeff Gordon back to the line. And Ricky Brady get one of his. That's him, guys. That car's sitting on the outside of the track. Wow, Daryl Walker has hit that wall hard. The uh, race has been called at this point at the conclusion of 343 laps, and Jeff Gordon is the winner. And Five drives, he didn't plan to it. After that was two to go, so they will wave the white flag on Rusty Waller. Point five, three miles away from win number two in 1997. And heavy traffic right in front of these cars. I don't know if it's going to win anybody's hand.
Harvick is driving away. Right now, Rusty Wallace, white flag. He'll have his hands full of Kevin Harvick in that 29 car on those fresher tires. Kurt Busch pulls away by another car length down the back stretch. Mike and Greg Biffle goes white flag for Kevin Harvey. It's going to be a great day for children seeing them sitting up on the pit box down there, kind of enjoying this afternoon. Nothing, like the, go. nothing like the sunny afternoon in Bristol, Tennessee. Kevin Harvick, from the back to the front, scores the 77th Career Cup win for owner Richard Childress. Harvick wins. Easy into the corner and quick on the throttle. Push Five to go. Bumper there. Into 29, Kevin Harvick's going to go by him as well. It's not over. Yeah, but there's no question about what happened there. I mean, the, the 29 was coming, and uh, the 29 is still coming. Starts in his line sideways and backwards. Left yep. car, McMurray out of the way. White flag. Jeff Gordon just got by Matt Kitson for third space. Harvick's there. He's there. there. Oh, and, the, and look at this. The 24 just went around. And here comes the 29. Can he get to him? We're yeah, still green. Still green. Still green. Still green. Bush wins it. There it is. Jeff Burton. I told you, I thought that 31 was laying there in the weeds. Now remember, white flag this time. One to go. He gets a run to the inside. I'm sure Kyle Bush will put the block on him. Well, he better, buddy, he better be careful down here. Uh oh. It's okay. Hamlin saw. Oh, no problem. A little touch. All I can say is Kyle Bush better be clear. 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 Jeff Burton. Yes, sir. He a lot of give and take there. He's going to blow a bump and run here. They're going to drag race to the finish line. Yes. Kyle Busch in the five. Now, Harvick, he's going to look to the inside on the start going into turn three and four. He's going to get that position away. Two to go. 160,000 people. Nobody oh, sitting there. Outside. No caution. There's the caution now. There's the caution. Caution with 
three laps to go. Yeah, he, he needed about two more laps to get to that white flag, and we'd have had a race. But again, the trends normally speaks the speaks the truth. Enough. Mother Nature wins, and so does Carl Edwards. Newman's the one that did not get a good restart in the 31. No, and we saw that earlier tonight uh, with the with the 31. Didn't get a good race sight. Look, look, look who's running second. Johnson. Shot out of a cannon, I mean, and he is going to be all over the back of Matt Kenseth as, as we come to the white flag. White flag, bud. One more time. Better not slip. Johnson high. Here comes Gordon trying to close. Kenseth owns the racetrack. Double wide for fourth. Newman inside of Stenhouse. Matt Kenseth from the pole breaks the drought, wins Bristol. But they're going to have to take it away from Carl if they're going to win it. Look at Junior getting a great start. Let me tell you, don't count that 88 out. He's pretty darn good. Six to go. Junior doesn't have a win yet either this year. This could be big for him if he can get it. Nice clean restart. Right now, I think he's really happy being in that second oh, sprint. Short track racing right there. And then you got Chase Elliott oh, watching. Oh, got 41, got loose off the dude. Here comes Chase. White flag, one more time. White flag, one more time. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Carl Edwards, well out in front of a great battle for second place. Earnhardt, Bush, Elliott, and Bain for the top five. Checkered flag in the air. Carl Edwards dominates Bristol. Celebrating 25 years of Food City being the sponsor of the Bristol Spring Race in the NASCAR Cup Series.